What's up guys? This is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my of my Rovemi Master Total Let's Play as the Brutii. So to pick up where we left off, uh, we are trying to rev to uh, relieve the city, the garrison of Mediolanium. And we're going to attack Aulus Curius, who is bringing in the garrison force. Which is lots of not great infantry, so our superior quality infantry, especially our elites, should do a real number on them. They do have urbans, but their urbans are not as upgraded as my urbans. So let's go fight them. At the very least, if I do uh, cock this up, as is definitely possible, because I'm not that good at Rome Remastered, I do still have another army and the garrison itself to fight them, if needs be. So, yeah. When you're inadequate, you've definitely got to come up with backup plans. Let us offer prayers to the gods for victory! And then let us arm ourselves to the teeth, just in case the gods aren't listening. Do not fear our enemies today. The Julii are Romans. They are just men, not gods. They can be killed. They stand alone. No friend has come to this place to die for them. Does this not say something about their honor? They're standing among nations? No one's come with me either. They kind have of been led here by strutting fools and blustering morons. Now they will pay the price. Their position is hopeless. The count of their troops pitiful. But remember that the base cur still has a bite. They will undoubtedly skulk in the woods and hope to ambush some of us. I have never yet lost a fight against these men. I have no intention of starting today. So together we will gain another victory. Omens are for the weak and silly. We are neither. And <laughs> Makes so you wonder if the omens are actually against us. Onwards. <laughs> if they're, if your omens, dead, the rest will drink to their memory. But as always, we Romans will fight with honor. Omens are great when they're in favor of you, but when they're not, it's like ah, pff, those orders suck anyway. Those omens are terrible. Okay, let's make an urban front rank. Praetorians and some legionaries on the left. Praetorians and legionaries on the right. So I am going to advance out of this position from the woods. I've got cavalry which I'm going to keep on each flank. Samlite warriors that are my spear armed troops. Actually, I've missed. One unit of men. The enemy have brought up reinforcements in a pathetic attempt to save themselves. So I just want to form up a proper flank. Move up my Samnite warriors. If I can surround and engulf and destroy these men, that'd be pretty nice. I don't want to really want to use any uh, peeler while I've got enemy troops. A larger contingent of enemy troops. Okay, let's run. Damn, they've all... So turn fire well on for these guys. No, oh, damn it, I charged but I meant to turn them off. So what have we got coming up here? Oh, 
It's quite a block of men there. Sam Knights are committed to the wrong fight. Let's get my cavalry over here. Sam Knights can charge in there. You men charge into those guys. I'm going to charge my own dudes. into there, you guys charge into there, you guys push up. I am in a big risk of getting flanked. My legionaries are cutting through their lower quality troops pretty well. charge that direction, you charge them down. You men run around to the Principes. I wonder where they're going to send that wedge. You men focus fire on that block of troops there. You guys are going to cut through those early legionaries. Okay, the Praetorians are going down. Bring, these, bring some of these men back. All of you men charge on into those Sam Knight War onto those Equites before they have a chance to get a good charge off. Equites are broken. He's the commander of the uh, sieging forces. Commit my early legionaries, principes, early legionaries. Would like to have cut down more of their cohort, but there we are. Oh, my general's cutting down their urbans. Sweet. You're going to go try chase down some of them into the rear. I love how they're routing in diamond for you know, it's in that formation as well. Stop firing. There we go. So apparently, is there someone... Oh no, sorry, they don't... Battle doesn't end until... They've all left the field. Ah, they had ballistas back here as well, didn't they? I forgot about them. Damn right, I'm going to continue. Ah, it was the, the ballistas that were causing them to stick around. So you're fighting. Okay, what? There we go. Let's speed up time. One guy there, and there's someone over here. Praetorians who are going to escape. Well, they're not, they're only marching <laughs> to the point where we did smash into them. Sweet. Sorry, Mr. Curious. So when they talk about there's always a tragedy when a true Roman falls, and they go, oh no, don't be my guy. But that went rather well. So we've crushed. Where are you going to go? Victory! Right, so... 
New men push up towards Massilia. The garrison of Mediolanium can spend some time retraining. You guys merge together and you're going to await reinforcements. Let's just pick the depleted, most depleted units, send them back to Arishium for retraining. But then these men are able to probably push west. What wouldn't be a terrible idea is if in Rome I started spamming out ships to help try and control the western med in case there are armies embarked. I mean, Rome does have some... Well, I mean, this is the leftovers of a pretty good army. So let's move my... Actually, what are you missing? Five units, two infantry and a cavalry. Let's get three of these silver urbans up there, at least. Let's check the old building browser. So, Jestica. Build another big temple. Kydonia build. Blacksmith. Sparta. You can build a hippodrome. Aquinson to the north. You could probably do with... We don't really need siege engines to the north because most of the cities are all wooden. Byzantium. Build some epic stone walls. Sinop and Tarsus are still unhappy. Salamis is unhappy as well, but let's build an amphitheatre for them. Antioch, let's get a temple, Patavium, get some better walls, Sidon. A temple and a, some baths, that will probably help simmer you down. Looks like the Egyptians are marching on Antioch. So what have we got? What have we got? A bunch of troops. Not bad troops, really. If they try and push, if they've got a lot of non-infantry units, then they're going to be in trouble. Get my spy into... Uh, can you... Sabotage Damascus again. So they're already... They're rioting now because we've got a spy and they're increasing unrest. Got a general out there with some slingers and bowmen. A cavalry detachment would be a nice thing to have there. Who shall die this day? I mean, there's no, not really any point killing a captain because they just get replaced. Not marching south. Flying mission success. Smash the temple of Imhotep again. Found a Thracian spy in Campus Lazige, but there's nothing nothing we can really do to stop it. Vicus Venedi has they've chilled out. I do just want to keep I mean, Praetorians are. I mean, you've got. Praetorians are overkill, considering we're just fighting peasants. Let's take you guys and assault Lovosis. Because then we've got the Thracians down to one city remaining. And to be honest, things are looking pretty good. And we're very much in the end game. I'm probably about. I'm definitely less than a dozen cities away from winning the campaign. And this won't be a true world domination because I've not... I don't know. It hasn't clicked as well as... The are fools <laughs> and think they sent victory. Of course they sent victory. It's the computer. It thinks it doesn't understand like a normal person. But what I was going to say was I don't think I'm going to continue this as a full world domination simply because it hasn't hasn't clicked um it hasn't it doesn't play well i remember fighting in greece to be a lot a lot tougher than it was 
but at the same time, tougher but tougher but easier. It's a bit of a weird way to describe it, but it felt like you were in for a good fight, but you you had strategies that were fairly consistent in how they work. But it feels like this. Well, I guess I'm relearning those strategies, I suppose. So I would be open to. I would be open to playing another campaign, but I expect it would probably. Might be a bit boring, but I'd probably try and play a Roman one because. Yeah, you know, it feels like if you can't get if you can't get used to the Romans in Rome, then you're already a bit screwed. Like I may as well try to get the basics down with a faction that's universally liked and is universally good. But I'd probably pick the Julii, maybe. We've also got to bear in mind that these videos that I'm doing. When I do a video that's... Well, I'm going to put a video explaining what the, the position at the, at the moment, because I'm about to take some time off. Actually, by the time you see this, I am definitely have already taken my time off, and that video's already come out. Um, I suppose just to add a bit more context, that... My, fundamentally, my daily, up, daily uploads, I am happy for them to be community-driven. So you guys pick what ones I do. You guys pick what videos I what what campaigns I play during the week. These Monday, Wednesday, Fridays are more about they're a bit more experimental and they're they're a way for me to try and mess around with things that I think will be fun. So like there wasn't time to get a Rome campaign in the schedule, but I think it would be a th I'm glad I did it, because I think it's been quite enjoyable. For the most part. Uh, but then these Monday, Wednesday, Friday... Imagine being... Honey, what's the noise? I'll go have a look. Oh my god! <laughs> look at them, Jeffrey! Look at them! They're all dying! The enemy gate is down! Our battering ram has done its work! So they're firing to the back of the Bastane warriors. Let's push these guys up a bit so they don't get fired at quite as much. I mean, these Bastane mercenaries, they look really good. So yeah, I want my archers to be focusing on the Militia hoplites. I know they are only militia hoplites, but hoplites suck. <laughs> Heavy infantry I can surround and destroy fairly well using other means. Make sure their soldiers are buried beneath the ruins. There we go. So that's the ram. Well, that's. So where it's more advantageous to us, focus our effort. These guys are just pill tests, so I'm not expecting miracles. Let's run one unit around the flank. You swing one direction, you swing that direction. Great gods! Our soldiers have done well this day. The walls are taken! So a bunch of these men continue driving north to the centre. These guys can surround the peasants. Focus fire this packet of infantry here. I mean, this legionary cohort, they're doing, they're doing well, but they are surrounded. Those guys are broken, the Falksmen are broken. There we go. 
the men at the front are all surrounded. So they're going to lose a huge amount of their men trying to get through our troops. Just attack and destroy. Stop the archery fire. These guys start to walk now. You men run up around the flank. Hoplites have engaged, although they've engaged in that cunning hoplite strategy of pushing in sideways. Just get into the, just get into the, uh, into the square. And you guys push, push the peltasts because they're doing a number on our troops. Enemy general has been killed with a nice fetching brown beard. Ah, those men broke immediately. They are still impetuous. There's a whole bunch of angry Praetorians. I mean, they're they're tired, but come on, you men, dip your spears. Look at this guy! Oh my God, let's get out of here! So my cavalry is just led by a captain, so if the general dies it's not a massive deal, although it makes sense to keep on running. You might have a nice, handy, big two-handed spear-looking thing. And mine guys have got armour! That's everyone against these Falksmen. There they go. Hurrah! Damn right it's a heroic victory. Well, heroic-ish. We have to slaughter a bunch of people. But Well, I guess that's what heroic is in battles these days. What a, what a world we live in. Okie dokie. So, that is love assist secured. And they too will be slaughtered. Destroy their temple. Build our own shrine to Juno. Repair the walls. Can't actually retrain any things. We don't have. There's not very much here at all, really. You men are pushing up to here. So we've got Medulanium. You men are repair. Oh, they're, you're, you're regrouping, and you're going to be ready to push onwards into the west. These men down here are pushing down towards Siwa. Our ships are sailing south across the Med to land in Alexandria. New merchant acquired. What's his name? Zipper. It's probably Zyper, but... God damn, it's old Zipper. Good. 
Resistance is futile. Love assist has been put to the sword. So let's hit end turn. Not oh, you got a new gar there you go, a new garrison commander. Now end turn. And you're slaughtering all the dogs. Sorry, doggos. Uh, you guys just push up. So it looks like the the city to the south is actually pretty weak. On that Egyptian three city defensive line. Oh, they're moving up. Thebes is very poorly defended. Got a faction leader and a couple of unknown units. Send a detachment to join them. To siege the city. It does mean we lose a large number of our more elite units. But I'm hoping we can take Thebes and push up and knock Memphis with the core of the new elite of the elite troops. The ones we don't need anymore. You men. There. Oops. Maybe you better have to land this side of the river. In case we get caught out. Interturn report. Construction report. Let's get building. Tarentum, built a Circus Maximus, Polonia, built a Pantheon, Salona, built a Pantheon, Athens, built a Curia, Corinth, builds an Amphitheater, Thessalonica, built a Pantheon, Bilozora, build a Curia, Nicomedia, build a Great Forum, because it does get towards, actually, maybe it's better to get an Academy for the happiness there. Mazaka, let's build a Pantheon. Synops still unhappy. Campus Ghetto, build an amphitheater. Yeah, there's an amphitheater. Rome, build a bigger temple. Campus Lazige, build another big temple. Medulanium, build baths. Locus Venidae to the north, build a temple of Juno. Baths and walls. Lovasis, build a new temple. You men can combine just so what you could do with providing is not more troops but cavalry I'd like legionary cavalry but I'm going to get some Roman cavalry I don't want to push the ford because I've not got actually I've got a good amount of firepower You just keep pushing back, Victory! Captain Nias. Ready to go hit Captain Flavius. We've got a bit better army now. Some legionaries, Praetorians. But Massilia is definitely our target. You guys combine. Minotaurisium retrain. To be honest, you might. Yeah, march north. Medialanium, recruit some Tal Watch to act as a garrison. You men need. You need you need a lot of stuff really. You've got a lot of infantry you don't strictly need. You need cavalry. Down here at Tarentum. Okay, got some urbans loitering that I currently don't really have a use for. I mean, I say I haven't got a use for them. Like these guys. I've just taken them out going, I've got no use for them. Okay, I do. Move them around to here to join up this force. You're pushing elsewhere, my. My recruitment 
goes on. It's, to be honest, I'm probably at the point where I can just siege the city. Siege the city with what I have if they sally out. They sally, so just begin the countdown. Because ultimately, that will be the end of Thrace. It's the Carolus, you guys are waiting patiently to see what the options are. You could land and hit Narbo Martius. That would be pretty advantageous. I don't want to get involved in this at all. I could sell south to Carthage, but right now I'm not... I mean, I, I am at war with Carthage, but they're not a... Well, if they become a problem, I want to have an army ready that I can deploy. Or do I land against... Do I land against... Uh, Scipii. Or is that what I do with these, some of these armies? Or, not armies, but troops. So we start to build up an army. Okay, you guys go join them then. Tarentum. We train some cavalry. And build some more urbans. Croton. Build some legionaries city grows. Rhodes has grown. Hurrah! So you're okay there. Attack and destroy this last Egyptian fleet. Sail on and hit Thrace. I mean, ultimately Thrace won't be a problem for too long. Okay, Corinth. Let's continue our continue our recruitment. You build Urbans, you build Praetorians, Sparta build Legionaries. Okay. Lots of inactive fleets and diplomats and spies and lots of great stuff. Well, we do have rioting, let's check that out. getting even better. Let's hit end turn. Was the Julii deploying or starting to deploy their navy to try and interfere with my operations? There's a German stack that these men are not going to fight. They are going to withdraw. I mean if they fight me again I'm just gonna water resolve it. Ooh, and they're coming for us at Campus Lazige, the Thracians. Yeah, let's auto that. How well do you do? Now, ah, 36 casualties inflicted. Okay, so I need to take the last Thracian city because they, they shouldn't be able to attack me now. They've sieged us, that's one thing, but they've not. Uh, they can't actually assault us. So that does mean, what a good bit of luck I actually did do that. So if you guys get up. Same with you guys. We are going to assault the last Thracian city, which I'm sure they had more men in it than this. But whatever. Let's take out the last Thracian city. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the destruction of Thrace. Cheers everyone.